Okay, here we are in the garage, shot, whatever, you know, live steam, plays, all the other garbage I do. But right now, I'm looking at doing this little toner hack. So, got two toners that uh, had stuff in them, you know, here's another one. Um, but it's all messed up, and I salvaged these out of old machines a while back. But, so they're, oh, look at that. Yeah, there's a hole in there. I did that. And I also have the first experimental hole I did, which is, let me show it to you here. Now, it was harder to get out of this when it's in the middle, but I want to do this because this is exactly how the hole is going to go in on the refill. So here's what's going to happen. Um, let me give you a backstory. Thinking about how to open these up to do this, but I didn't want to have shavings going in and everything. And then it dawned on me. Um, piece of copper pipe. Here it is. Blowtorch. Heat this up. Uh, heat this up. Push it in right here. It's gonna it's gonna melt a hole. I won't get any parts. It's gonna all remain together. Pop it out. Take the funnel. Here's the pile of crap that come out of the other toners. Pour that in. I don't know. Just saying. I think it's gonna work. So um, that's the plan, and uh, so here we go. And oh, then he, uh, after it's done, I'm just gonna put duct tape over the hole because I really don't think it's gonna matter. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I can't really hold this thing while I do it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'll try to uh, take some pictures as I'm doing it, and maybe that'll help, and then I'll come back and give the, uh, give the synopsis. But that's basically it, I don't need to you know, I mean, heating up, running, you know, running the blowtorch is, you know, you know, that's easy. Heating up the tube, it's it's not rocket science here at all. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. Okay, there you go. Hole's done, and there's the slug. So you know it's going to be clean, because um, it's you know just basically melted plastic. It's all going to stay together. Okay, so that's the first part. Now what I'm do is what I am going to do is get this via that funnel into that hole so you know wish me luck okay there you go okay so had a full container here i have that left but i think i'm going to stop there it looks you can't really see in there uh, but it looks pretty good i took a photo i'll in incorporate that in in right right before and after this little segment but that's it. It's all in. Got a little bit on my shoe and a little on the floor. Hey, that's going to happen. So, okay, here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to look around, find my piece of uh, the duct tape or something to cover that up, and I'll be right back. All right, there you go. There's the new toner, top of the two sacrificial toners. There's the tape job. Hey, it's masking tape. It's what I had. It's going to work. So there it is. So here we go. I'm going to run back in the house and uh, let's see if it works. Do some tests. Of course, I'm not going to show you if it fails. No, I will. This is it. First time. Seriously, no, this really is. This is the first time showing this. I'm anxious. This is a, this is a 2200D, by the way. This is the 96 a cartridge or 96 I think an X also okay let's take a look yeah, I think we're I think we're coming back not great but you know what not bad um, let's try one more okay here's what we had there's some of the fading it was going away there's what we just printed there's some fading One more shot here. Oh, here we go. I don't know. This maybe it's a big fail, but I mean, if it prints, it prints, right? I mean, that's what we're shooting for. Maybe it's just look dirty. It's not doing anything. We have low light in here too, so I don't know if you can see the graininess in the film. Film, it's not film. You know, digital. Okay, let's see. Are we getting? Yeah, I think we're. I think we're stepping up a little bit. 
it's not bad compared. It's about the same. There. What's the other side look like? I think that's very doable. Let's take a look over here. Yeah, that black looks great. I think we have a win. I mean, it never was really good with the, some of that stuff. So there it is. Okay, well, there's the your answer to the toner issue right there. Um, I'll, maybe I'll report back after we get a little more printing in it, see how long it holds up. See, catch me on the next video.